The beauty is in the machine. The chance to change it all. To step into the future. And embark on a journey. Of endless potential. Amigo is an 8-bit sampler VST emulating the Commodore Amiga and programs such as Optimid 4 and ProTracker. It also features the iconic cyclic time stretching from the old Akai hardware samplers. It really has all your sampler needs covered, from a sample mode which lets you transpose the audio up and down, here we can also set the start and end times to trim our selection. It also has a slice mode which is great for drums where we can very simply double click to add slice markers and then double click to take them away. And another great feature is that we can select an area and go show selected, put your slice marker in and then go show all so you can zoom in and out really easily to put these slice markers in. Another really cool feature which is somewhat essential for, for this old school style is to have, rather than have this mode on trigger where every slice is going to chop off when it hits the next slice marker, we can actually put it on through mode and so the slices are going to play through one and another to the end of the whole sample. It also features this chord mode where if we put chord memory on and then turn record on, we can play in a chord like a minor chord here and it's now locked it to the memory and if I turn record off, I can start to play this uh, chord in parallel up and down the keyboard. One slightly more advanced thing you can do here which is also really interesting is if you click back to mono mode and put the glide up, we can do Obviously these guys are mono, but if I click back to poly, we can do this gliding through the chord memory, which I think is actually really interesting for, especially for effects and things like that, you can get great results on this. This glide function is also great in mono for doing all that wicked pitch movement in your bass lines. There's also both the ability to do forwards and reverse loops by turning this pong button on and off. And this is fantastic for doing those classic jungle pads which ping backwards and forwards. But one other feature I really love is how they actually show the playback position of each of these notes being played, which not a lot of samplers do actually. Another really dope feature which is probably slightly underrated is this reverse function and what's super cool about this is we can automate it on and off to do all these cool forwards and backwards uh, tracker style tricks with our drums. Okay, so now is when we get into some of the really juicy stuff. Amigo features a real-time automatable Akai style time stretch which has been closely modelled on the original. Yes! Yes. Yes. Another wicked inclusion is the phase control and this essentially creates a duplicate of the audio signal and then delays it against the original signal and we obviously get this phasing result but I love using this on drums and specifically when you have two drums, drum breaks going together you can actually map this so I can trigger both these phrases to move at the same time with one macro or I can control them individually with another so there's lots of potential here um, for doing cool live stuff on your breaks. The sample rate control is the only thing in this plugin that isn't real time as it's a very intensive process for even a modern CPU to handle. 
Well, what I can tell you is that it sounds fantastic and it's actually super clean when we compare it against other examples like my favorite plugin, Decimal 2. What's really interesting about the sample rate is actually being able to play with the interpolation and turning it on and off whilst changing the sample rate as well to hear the results when we let through some more of this aliasing and distortion. Now it's pretty clear when we listen to a pad sample like this that it sounds a lot smoother and nicer without having all that harsh aliasing noise and distortion coming through. But actually for certain things like drums it's quite cool and definitely characterful, uh, maybe a stylistic choice to actually keep some of that aliasing in to give a bit more crunch to the drums. So I've been using Amigo for probably about a week now, pretty much exclusively across all my projects, and I've really been having a blast with it. I think for me, because the UI is so simply laid out, it just makes it really fun to use. There's no learning curve. You don't really have to you know, hit the menus or anything like that. You can just dive straight into it and start having a blast. And I think they've really captured that old school uh, Amiga Commodore sound and style beautifully. So um, I would highly recommend checking it out. Shadow stations. I'm ready.